I'm just saying, you guys, you've got to check out these biscuits. I mean, they are so nice. I'm not kidding you. So, hello and welcome back to another vinyl update video. Yes, I couldn't think of what to do for the intro, so I thought I'd show you these new biscuits that I've just discovered, which are gorgeous. And if you are in the UK, you have to check them out, because they are beautiful, I love them. Um, but anyway, welcome back to another video, it's vinyl update time, it's that really exciting time where I get to show you guys what I've been getting lately. And um, I haven't done one of these in a long time now. Um, so generally, the record pile itself hasn't built up that much, it's not a big pile. Um, I, well, I mean, it's big, but it's not as big as it usually is. I've got about, um, I don't know, about 15 records to show in total. Um, but the main, um, stack is the CD stack over here, which you guys can just see. Um, and that's not all of them. I've got another extra couple, some special ones, some new releases, and some cool digipack ones, um, just under here to show as well. So there is an incredible amount to show today. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd, so you guys just weren't looking at my black... Sony TV there. I thought I'd put up my um, Derek from the Dominoes poster as well. It's not new. I just thought I'd put it up because why not? Um, but anyway, so I got some VCLTs to show as well today. And of course the VCLT is really exciting because it is Record Store Day 2016 stuff. And then of course I'm going to move on to the CD collection. And then we're going to go to my um, the records I've got. So anyway, VCLT first. Very special person out there, an incredible friend of mine, and it wouldn't be a vinyl update without giving him a big shout out anymore. That's Mr. James Larvin, vinyl collector James. How are you doing, James? Um, an amazing guy in the VC, and I say this every video, but I have to keep saying it in case there's someone who's watching you who hasn't checked out your channel. Because if they haven't checked out your channel, they need to go do it, because your channel is fantastic. Um, so broad, he's got these fantastic collections videos um, from artists going all the way back to Led Zeppelin um, and Eric Clapton, which we did together, all the way through to modern day bands um, like Coldplay and um, some other ones rattling about there, of course. But go and check out his channel because fantastic, fantastic. But anyway, me and James are such good friends now, we're always trading things. Um, it's really exciting because I get to send him some packages and he sends me some packages. Um, but the one thing he knows I can't do is record store day. Because there are no record stores near me. Um, I'm always working when they're on. And um, yeah, I've got absolutely no hope when it comes to record store day, unfortunately. So I'm very lucky to have you, um, James, as such a close friend. Because he's so kind and he's always offering to help me out on record store day. As he did last year in 2015. Um, and there were only three records, really, that I wanted this record store day. And I was so grateful because I got all three. So thank you so much, James. Thank you. Um, so the first one up is a 10-inch single from the new Star Wars The Force Awakens film. Um, here it is. Really cool there. Picture disc, which I love. Um, and the um, A-side is March of the Resistance. Um, which is actually a really cool song. I like it. You know, it kind of um, it's kind of like when you had the Empire song, the dum 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 dum. You know, you could kind of hear the big Star Destroyer coming in. It's kind of like a modern version for the Resistance. Um, and then I've got a really cool song for Ray's theme as well on the back. So really fantastic. I love it. Um, so yeah, thank you, James, so much. I love the picture as well. Look at how cool that is. This is fantastic. I mean. Anything Star Wars related, you guys know, gets me so excited. You just cannot beat Star Wars in the film world. I know it's not everyone's favourite, but there's this nostalgia around Star Wars, which is just incredible. And no other film is ever going to be able to capture that. So it's just fantastic to just get something Star Wars related, because it is incredible. Um, the next one up, actually getting onto music now. The, um, you know, some um, not instrumental, not film music. Um, this is really cool. This is the Tusk, the alternative versions. So this is all the stripped down versions before um, Lindsey Buckingham went in there and just, you know, uh, really started to do a lot of production work on the album and whatnot. Um, but it's really cool, both on um, a double vinyl, on 180 gram um, vinyl, of course. I love the cover as well. I'm not a big fan of Tusk, and the reason I'm not a big fan of Tusk is because I feel like so much effort went into it, the songs actually kind of felt a little bit boring for me. So I'm thinking maybe stripped down versions is the way to go. So I haven't heard it yet, but I'm really looking forward to playing this. So 
That's really cool. So thank you so much for that one, James. That's brilliant. But the one which got me the most excited, probably because it's the most limited, because the Styles 10-inch and the Fleetwood Mac one have both since been posted on Amazon, um, so you can actually buy them. Um, this is the one that got me the most excited, because this one actually is limited. Um, this one is um, probably going to be a bit hard to find. I can't remember whether it was numbered. I'm just looking for a number, but I can't see one. Uh, but anyway, this is the Idol Race. Um, I believe self-titled this one. So, um, Jeff Lynn's first or second band. I think it was this one, then Move. The Move. move. Um, but, yeah, this is really cool, because I'm going to have to open this one up. And show you guys what this one actually looks like. This is really cool. So, um, the Idol Race, um, second studio album featuring <laughs> um, ELO's Jeff Lynn, remastered exclusively for Record Store Day 2016. On splattered colour vinyl. Woo, splattered. Um, pretty sure there wasn't a download code in here. No, nah, if there was, I would have used it. <laughs> but um, I have to say, this could be the prettiest vinyl I own. Ooh, look at that. That is cool. I mean, I love it. I think the B side I actually like more because it's like the red actually goes out further. So this is so cool, though. I love it. It, 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 you know, fantastic, just incredible. I, I think I would say I have a lot of splatter color vinyl now. I think I would say this is my second, second favorite color vinyl. I still think my favorite color vinyl that I own is my Game of Thrones season three, which is like a blood one. Um, so sec, probably second favorite, but I own so many color vinyl now that is saying a lot. So this is fantastic, really good. Um, so yeah, and this one here does actually sound the sticker. It's um, exclusive for Record Store Day. So I'm, I don't think this one's been uh, released on Amazon as of yet. But if it has, the Amazon one won't come with that sticker. And it probably won't be splatter vinyl. So very happy with that. So anyway, that those are the records from um, Record Store Day 2016 that I wanted. I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't have minded the Tom Petty one. Um, live... Oh amplifier or something like that i forget what it was called um volume two um but i don't have volume one volume one's really hard to get and a uh, volume two's on amazon for like 15 pounds so i can get it if i want so it's no big deal i got the ones which i really wanted so james thank you so much you've done it again mate you've made record store day for me thank you so much a star guy as i say if you haven't checked out his channel go check it out because it's a must do but anyway now we're going to move on to the cds um, and I've realised I've put them so far away I can't actually reach them now. So I'm going to have to slide over a bit. <laughs> um, sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking as well. Um, but anyway, the first ones, the ones at the um, top of the CD pile are actually from my mum and dad's collection. Um, they're ones which... Um, I, I, I've been through their collections before, as you guys know. And I always seem to find something every time I go back. Um, but anyway, a lot of this stuff is some of my mum's favourites. So anyway, we've got um, Brian Adams here um, with Reckless, which I hear is a really good album. So I thought, yeah, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. Um, so anyway, put it there. And then here we've got, um, my mum loves Brian Adams. We've got another Brian Adams one. This one's Unplugged. Um, now then, I, wouldn't, I didn't want to take too many Brian Adams albums off her because I don't really know how much I like him yet. But I thought Unplugged, I love Unplugged sessions. So I was like, I'm going to take that. And then here we have um, Brian Adams. This one's called So Far So Good, which really is the greatest hits compilation. So that's the one I really wanted. And then my mum and I are both quite big Bon Jovi fans. I mean, she's big. I'm still getting to know them, but I do really like them. And she has this massive Bon Jovi CD collection. So I'm going to go really quick. Um, they're basically in the back of her cupboard. And she said, you know, I don't get them out very often. So if they're on your shelves... She would probably come in and pick them up more. So she was like, take them all. So I was like, fair enough. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go really quick. So there's a lot of Bon Jovi here. So self-titled. Um, forgive me because I don't know the names yet. Um, well, I'm not even going to bother to pronounce that. Because that one looks really difficult. <laughs> um, Slippery When Wet. Now I do actually own this one on vinyl. That is a great album. I do love that one. That's really good. Um, what's this one? This is uh, New Jersey. Um, I don't even know what this one is. 
Blades of Glory, Blades of Gl Glory, Blades of Glory, that's the Will Ferrell film. <laughs> um, this one here, just going to go quick, oh Greatest Hits, now this one here I actually did have in my collection already. Getting into some 90s stuff now. And last Bon Jovi one there. So now we've still got some more from my mum, my mum's collection. I think a couple of these might have been from my dad's. Um, but anyway, um, the very best of all, well, hits out of hell. It's called um, of Meatloaf. Now I'm not big on Meatloaf, but I thought the hits. Yeah, I'll take them in my collection. Um, Def Leppard's greatest hits. Don't mind a bit of Def Leppard. Um, now these two, I'm pretty sure my dad's. Um, Beautiful South. And another beautiful South album there. Um, Oasis. Oasis again. And the last one from my mum and dad's collection, The Essential Michael Jackson. Can't beat a bit of that really, can you? <laughs> um, but anyway, the rest now are all... There's one in here actually that I bought at a pound store. Um, but when we get to that one, I'll let you know which one it is. But all the rest of these have come from third-party Amazon. They're like a couple pence each with like a pound postage. So you might as well say they were all about a pound to a pound fifty each, these. Um, so I've saved the best ones till last. The first ones aren't too interesting. Um, they get a lot better as I go on. So first up is the best of Art Garfunkel. About three songs on there I like. And then I know my friend Ross Goodall will be uh, pleased to see me with this one. Paul Simon's Greatest Hits. Um, I like about half the tracks on here. That's really all I need with his career. Um, and we got this one here. I'm still very new to this artist. This is one which uh, James Lardman recommended to me. So another shout out to you, James. Um, so yeah, still get, I still have yet to play this one. But um, she sounded like my style. So it's like, I'll give her a try. And then here we got this one. Frank Zappa, of course. Um, the very best of Marvin Gaye. Um, now, and I have What's Going On by Marvin Gaye, and I really want to get Trouble Man soundtrack. But I thought, um, I think that one would be good enough for now. Um, the, I, I love this artist, and I have like two CDs of his, but I don't have a Greatest Hits compilation, so I thought it was time to do that. The very best of Stevie Wonder. Genius stuff there. Uh, the very best of Dr. John. Kind of an 80s bluesy kind of guy. Um, you know. Of course, I like Eric, and I like all of Eric's stuff, so if you like Eric's 80s stuff, Dr. John, good choice there. Uh, the very best of Cat Stevens. I'm not even going to bother to pronounce this guy's second name, but I um, absolutely loved this. This was fantastic. Ray, blah, 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 blah. Um, fantastic. This was great. Another one recommended to me by James Larden. And fantastic choice, James, because I love this. Nick Drake. Oh my god, this was brilliant. And this one actually came brand new sealed, so really cool. Um, another one recommended uh, to me by James, but I still have yet to listen to this one, buddy. Um, Talking Heads. And this is the one which I bought in a pound store. It's an EP with four songs on, but I only like the fourth song, the last one. The rest are really not very good. Um, R.E.M. Bo the Letter. Um, I like the last track, uh, Wall of Death, but the rest were rubbish. Not very good at all. Uh, the best of Guns N' Roses. Brilliant album here. Brilliant. Nirvana, never mind. Now, I love this album. I've listened to this album many times. First time I've owned a physical copy of it, though. Uh, Blondie's first album, self-titled. Now, then, this one here might seem a bit pointless to you. Um... Because I do already own all of these. Um, Blondie Greatest Hits. This one here comes with a DVD as well with all the music videos. Um, which is really cool. Just pop open there like that. So I thought that was worth it. I like Blondie a lot. And I was like, yeah, maybe her music videos would be worth checking out at some point. Uh, the Best of the Eagles. Can't go wrong there. Okay, now this one here, really special to me. I love this album. Fantastic. 
a John Martin, Solid Air. As soon as I get that on vinyl, I'll be reviewing it, because I love that album. And then almost as good, almost as good. And um, this one's called One World by John Martin. Fantastic. Ooh, this one's great as well. Night Visions, Imagine Dragons. Great album there. I know a lot of my mates from school would be pleased to see me getting that one. Um, I will be getting their new album as well soon. I'm just waiting for that one to go down in price a smidge more. It's pretty cheap now, I must say, but I want it to go down a little bit more before I can be happy to pay for that. Um, Coldplay Parachute's been doing a lot of Coldplay listening lately. Love them, they're brilliant. And then uh, this is Viva La Vida, um, which also has the EP in. Hang on, I forget the name of it. Prosper Prospects March. When you open it up there, you can see the album v Vida La Vida and the Prospects March cover there. And the Prospects March CD's in there and the Viva La Vida one's in there. Love Coldplay, they really are becoming one of my favourite bands. Um, Milo Zylato has Paradise on. Love that song. Ghost Stories, incredible. Nice little slip cover there with that one. Very brilliant album there about Chris Martin's divorce with Gwyneth Paltrow. Brilliant. Might review that one sometime. Um, really need to get this on vinyl to complete my Peter Gabriel collection. But New Blood, brilliant. And here we hit the Robert Plant stuff. Now then, I want to give a shout out here to Adam 80s Heaven. How you doing, Adam? Um, I see you got some of the CDs in your last update, which I'm about to show. And, man, you're going to love them CDs. They're great. Great pickups there. Um, I think you only have a couple of the ones which I've got here. But anyway, um, Manic Nirvana, fantastic album. Um, one of his last real rocking albums, eh? Um, Fate of Nations. Eh, that one's okay. Um, now then, this one here is like £800. Cheapest one is £800 on vinyl. So I'm definitely waiting for a reissue on this. But Dreamland. Very, very uh, creative, different album there from Robert Plant. So, a very good one. And then, Adam 87, I believe these are the two that you picked up. And, well done, mate, because these two are fantastic. Mighty Rearranger. What an album. What an album. That is an incredible album there. Love it. And, of course, Band of Joy. Great. Great stuff. But I have to recommend to you, Adam, and, of course, other Robert Plant fans, um, Raising Sand and... Uh, uh, Lullaby and the Ceaseless Roar. Fantastic albums there. Okay, so now we get on to the more interesting ones, um, which is basically all Tom Petty. <laughs> uh, so we got Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Damn the Torpedoes. Um, greatest Hits. And then all of these are so expensive on vinyl, so I've just settled with the CDs until vinyl reissues come out. She's the one. Pretty good album. Enjoyed it. Wildflowers, brilliant, absolutely brilliant album. Echo, maybe my least favourite Tom album. I didn't enjoy that one too much. The Last DJ, now this was surprisingly really good. Really did enjoy this album. Um, so yeah, really, really cool album there. Definitely worth checking out. Um, Highway Companion, which was produced by Jeff Lynn. Um, a lot of people are quite harsh on this one, but um, I enjoyed it. It was good. Liked it. Good album. Mojo. Uh, probably my favourite Tom Petty album from one of the, you know, out of the recent ones. Probably my favourite of the recent albums. Hypnotic Eye. Great album as well, of course. And then here's the two new releases from this week. Mud Crutch 2, really enjoyed it. Not quite as good as the first one. I still think the first one's better. But, um, really good really good album. Loved it a lot. Really fun. And then, of course, the album I've been waiting a long time for and will definitely be doing a review of. And I've already done an unboxing of it. Eric Clapton's I Still Do. What a CD. Gotta get it if you haven't already. Well, that's the CDs done, and we're nearly 20 minutes in. I'm sorry, guys, that the CDs have dominated. Um, I've got to get my chair back now. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to have to move a bit quick here. So, I went to a record fair on Monday, and there was absolutely nothing in a record fair. Nothing at all. Didn't buy a thing. Absolutely useless. There was about four stalls there. I looked for it, found the usual, some 80s pressing of Beatles stuff, and then I saw couple Moody Blues albums, which I didn't have, a Blondie album on Picture Disc. They're all so expensive, and it's like, 
It's not exciting me. So anyway, I walked away. I thought I'm going to save my money. I went in a charity shop first of all before I uh, made my way to HMV. And um, I found this for 50p in pretty good condition. An original first pressing mono of the Beach Boys Pet Sounds. And yeah, look at that. Mono on Capital Rainbow for 50p in a charity shop. So, yep, I grabbed that. I was like, sure, I'll take it. Not a huge fan of... I mean, I've heard this al that album already. It's a great album. I don't want to put it down. But I do feel that people overrate it a little bit. So I'm not the biggest fan of it. But it's cool to finally own a copy of it. And then I got into HMV and I found two records which I couldn't leave behind. Um, first one being this album. I'm getting very close to being complete on them now. Parachutes by Coldplay, of course. Love this album. Really good album there. And in this one here, which is a little pricey on vinyl, and I thought, yep, yeah, I'm, I'll take it. Heathen by David Bowie. Gotta check it out if you haven't. Really did enjoy that album. That was great. Okay, so now let's move on to the vinyl purchases which I have made online, and yeah, a little bit of a pile, a little bit of a pile. Um, so anyway, we're gonna. I saved the more interesting ones till last again. Um, carrying on with David Bowie here. Um, I forget the name of this one. This is Lodger. Yep, that one, I don't know what way up it's meant to go. It's a very weirdly designed album, this one. And then here we have Star Wars Attack of the Clones vinyl. Uh, like that there, in memory of um, Christopher Lee, of course. Very, very sad passing there. But I'm going to have to take this one out and show you guys the vinyl, because this one here is spectacular. Um, I, now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, well, you just got that in a vinyl box set. But yeah, I know I just got it in a vinyl box set, but again, it, it, it's Star Wars. <laughs> I mean, give me, there's no other excuse I need. But this one here. I mean, come on, that is pretty damn awesome. So yeah, I had to, I had to get it. And there's one coming out for Revenge of the Sith as well, which I have on pre-order as well, of course. So yeah, really, really exciting. I'll put that one away later. And of course, finally, the Force Awakens soundtrack has come out on a picture disc. And I love it. It's incredible. It's sexy. It's a must-own in any record collector's collection. So if you like collecting soundtracks, get it. It's a must. And then here is the fourth Peter Gabriel album on the... Um, Oh, blah, 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 blah. hang on, I've lost my words. Uh, the 45 RPM remasters, which is really cool. This is a great album. It's got um, Shot the Monkey on, which is an incredible, incredible song. And then you, I, I can't remember whether I showed this in my last update or not, but I'm going to show it again just in case I didn't. You guys remember I had a bit of trouble with that Big Blue Bull record. You know, I paid like £30 for it and it came and it wasn't the limited edition numbered blue vinyl pressing. I sent it back and I had to order another one all the way from America. But it came and it's in beautiful condition. It is numbered only 168 out of a thousand. Pretty well. And it is blue vinyl, of course. So very happy to own that. And then here is Mud Crunch 2, of course. A review of this is coming not too far away. Um, yep, yeah, as I say, not quite as good as the first one, but still enjoyed it a lot. And then, of course. Didn't come out on release date, so I couldn't show it in my CD unboxing. But finally, ah, oh, here it is. Finally, Eric Clapton's "I Still Do." So happy to own this. Finally, this is a fantastic album, a great album from Eric. Um, easily the best album released this year for me. Um, yeah, I prefer it over Mud Crotch a teeny bit. Um, I know some people are probably going to be asking, "Where's Bob Dylan, James? Why aren't you showing Bob Dylan?" Um, I didn't buy Bob Dylan's album. That's simply because the attraction for me with Bob Dylan is the lyrics. I think he's a fanta fantastic lyricist. He's a great writer. Um, his voice, though, I don't like his voice. I'm sorry. I know some of you guys are going to hate me for saying that. And I know some of you guys idolise him. And that's fine. You know, I mean, everyone like a lot of people like him. I'm not trying to take anything away. Just in my opinion, I don't like his voice much. And um, he's doing another album where he covers all these um, fantastic oldie tracks, which are great songs. But he done that on the last album, Shadows in the Night, and I bought that and I didn't enjoy it, so I know I won't enjoy his new one, um, Fallen Angel, so I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother with it. I'll probably get it eventually, just to try and be complete on Bob Dylan, but 
it doesn't excite me. But Mud Crutch 2 and especially Eric Clapton's I Still Do are fantastic. They are incredible. Must own albums. Love them to bits. But anyway, that is it for this vinyl update. Vinyl update 55, I believe it is. Look at that. 25 minutes I'm seeing in my clock. Whew. We did it. We did it. I'm sorry most of the update was CD related, but... I mean, come on. That's... that's uh, but anyway, that yeah, that's it for this video. Um, there will be reviews up on Mad Crutch 2 and Eric Clapton's I Still Do by the end of the week. I'm also going to throw another um, video in this week as well, just to break it up. Because I don't want all of this week's videos to be vinyl update and two album reviews. I'll throw something in the middle. And also, there is a video planned. Um, I'm not sure whose channel it's going on yet, mine or um, Vinyl Collector's James. But we are in the process of planning our next video together. So that's exciting, another collaboration between us. So definitely look forward to that. Uh, but anyway, I better head off now because I can tell my hay fever is going to play up. This side of my nose is going. I can feel me getting ready to start sniffing away like a good one. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a message. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. To have this